Ugh! Why is this alarm always bothering me? Oh, it's 7 a.m. Time for school. But first I need to see who's here and if Joey's here, because I hate him so much! He is the worst... Not my brother ever! Ugh. I'm coming for you, you little punk! Where are you? I bet you're in there so I can hit you. Oh, you're not here. Is he hiding in a closet? I don't know. Who cares? I'm just gonna go downstairs and eat breakfast so I can get to school and so that I can get treated like the best thing ever because I'm the best person on the planet! Hey, mother! Hey, mother! Yes, sweetheart? Um, where is my breakfast? Where is my breakfast now? I want donuts and some chocolate milk! And I want it now, as well as my lunch! Well, here you go. Also, when you get to the school, treat Joey like he's... He's a bad person or something, because he is. Yes, because he has no feelings and he is a pile of garbage. Haha. <laughs> I'll go. Bye. See you later. And if I become late, it's his fault. Yep, that's right. Better go now. Hey, this is going to be a good day. Mm. This won't fit in. Oh well, I'm just gonna have to use another backpack that I stole from Joey. <laughs> Even though he doesn't care nowadays. Hopefully he does care because we're making sure his life is horrible. Alright, time to go to school. Bye, losers! Okay, kids. Have fun at school. Have a great day. Today is Friday. I'm gonna go this way so no one hears or sees me. Wow, you're so strong, guest. Wow, you are really strong. Yeah, I know. You're really strong. And this bag is so big. Well, this is kind of fun. Well, where are we going? Whoa! Wow, we're at school? Yep, we are. But the first thing I have to do is that we have to pretend that we're new here. But I go to the school. Okay, Joey, if you go to this school, you can go now. But the rest of you, come with me. Also, pretend that the bags are your backpacks, okay? Hey, I have one question. Will our real parents will get in trouble for, like, all this stuff? No, silly. What I'm going to do is tell the office that I'm your parents. Alright, let's go. Racing to the school. Looks like you win, guest. Yep. Let's go in. Wow, what's with the doors? Um, excuse me. I would like to apply for school for these two kids. What's your name? Uh, guest? What are those two kids' names? Um, Tyler and Noob. Okay, you can have a seat for a little. I'll be there in just a few minutes. How old are they? I'm 16. I'm 17. Okay, just a second. Principal Smith, please come to the office. We have two new students coming and one parent here. Okay, I'll be there. Hey, come with me. Okay. Wow, what happened to these doors, by the way? They are really, really bad. Yeah, I know. We're gonna try to fix them so that they can look more appealing to others. Anyways, Terryville High School. 
What are your names? I'm Noob, and I'm Tyler. I'm Guess, by the way, their parent. Full names? Noob Oofsen and Tyler Bacon. <laughs> wow, you have pretty cool last names, though. <laughs> They're very funny. Well, thanks. Okay, anyways, welcome to this school. We're here to talk about what's going to happen today, and what will you guys do? Well, your schedule has not been set up yet, so you're going to wait until at least third or fourth period to start school. Okay, so here are some questions I need to ask you. Okay, you can now wait in the lobby so we can get you started, okay? Okay. Noob, your schedule is Geometry, English, Chemistry, and World History, along with PE and Art. As for your Tyler, it's Algebra 2, Physics, English, and Economics, Art, and French. Now you guys can go to your third periods. We're done for today with the meeting. Good luck and let's hope you have a nice day. Good luck, Noob and Tyler. Okay, see you later. Alright, time to go to my class. Where is my... Oh, here's my locker here. Well, there's really... And I have nothing, so I'm just gonna go straight to the class. What happened to these doors? Uh, hi. What's your name? My name is Mr. Emerson, by the way. What's yours? I'm Noob. Oofson. All right. Head to your seat. We got a lot of stuff to do, and we would like to introduce our new student, Noob Oofson. Say hi to him. Hi. 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 Oh, hello, crybaby. Excuse me, Eric. Do not talk to him like that. That's disrespectful, and we're here to respect each other, not disrespect or make fun of others, okay? Be on your best behavior. All right, class. Today, we're going to be learning about climate change and global warming. So what is that? Yes, it's when the Earth gets warmer. Correcto. And Carl, what causes it to happen? Um, littering? Well, that was a decent answer. All right, today we're going to learn what causes climate change and global warming and uh, how we can stop it or slow it down. Or maybe it's too late. Hey, what did you just throw at me? Oh, I didn't do it. What's the matter? Um, someone throw a ball at me, and it must be him, the one behind me. You mean Eric? But I didn't do anything. Excuse me, Carl, please come up to the desk. Did you saw Eric throwing something at him? Uh, yeah, I definitely did. I sit right behind him, and he always throws stuff at other students. Shut up! I only do that for fun! Alright, this is obvious that Eric did something wrong again. That's it. Go to the principal's office, Eric. I am also writing a referral to them. What? No, 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 no! Please don't! Please give me another chance! I promise I'll behave! Well, that's just too bad. You should have thought about it before you acted. I'll go, or else I'll spank you. But... That's it. You want it? Play with me? You ask for it. Ouch, that hurts. Enjoy the well deserved it. Go to the principal's office now. What for? I told you. You didn't listen. You throw something at a student again and you disobey me and disrespect me. Go now, 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 or else I'll spank you again. Ugh, fine. Burn in hell, you brat. What did you just say? Let's go now. Now that I was rudely interrupted by some spoiled kid named Eric, now we can continue on our lessons. And what did I tell you about laughing while spanking? Alright guys, have a great weekend. It's the end of third hour. You may go now. And you guys better not laugh the next time I spank someone, because if you do, you'll get detention. Hi. I would like to say thanks for your help. You're welcome. It's my job to help you. Well, goodbye. Bye.
So, Eric, why are you here this time? I heard that you did something. Why are you crying? Mr. Emerson smacked my bottom. And why did he do that? I wonder. Were you being naughty in class again? No! I heard that. Don't you dare lie to Mr. Smith like that. And don't play the victim card. You know very well what you did, and that you disrespected me and you throw something at noob. That's why I smacked your bottom. Is this true, Elias? Yes, Nathan. He was very naughty of doing so. Let me get this straight, Eric. You throw something at a, another student and you disrespected and mocked your teacher. That's very naughty. But he's lying. He's making lies about me. Especially noob. He's making lies about me so I can get in trouble. Alright, I'm calling noob down. Oh, and please call Carl Anderson down. He's the witness of the situation. Alright. <coughs> Noob Oofsen and Carl Anderson, please report to the principal's office immediately. Yeah, what is it? What's going on here? Okay, I'll start off with you, Noob. So, Eric told me that you are making lies about him. Is this true? Um, no. Some He throws something at me. No, that's not true. He's lying still. All right, Carl, give me your speech. I saw Eric throwing something at Noob and disrespecting and interrupting the teacher and mocking him and then refuses to leave the classroom. So that's why he got his bottom smacked. Thanks for telling me. Two is better than one. So I guess I have to agree with Noob, Carl, and Eli. All right, go back to your classes, kids. So it has been confirmed that you, Eric, did these actions. That's it. You have detention for the next hour. Go to detention right now. I hope you jump off a cliff, Mr. Emerson, for giving me detention and getting me in trouble. Oh, who cares? It's your fault, not mine. <laughs> and stop crying like a baby. You are 16... Not six. Ugh, why is he acting this way? I don't know. Maybe because of his actions. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Whatever cost him, but we don't care. Anyways, time to get some peace and get back to where we were. Okay, bye. Bye.